Hi and welcome to my channel. I am Tammy Osterk, the designer of BadBobbin.com. Today I am going to show you the hack on how to do the half inch rivet, or I'm sorry, grommet, half inch grommet for the mini purse bag. This is the mini purse bag and this is the small. So I'm going to show you how to um, do the hack, put the purse together, and then this is your roll of your poop bags or your um, diaper, you know, diaper disposal bags for traveling. And it goes through the hole, pop the bag in, snap it closed. You have your little mini purse with your hanger on it. You can go on the diaper bag, it can go on your dog leash or on their collar, their, their harness. And the bags come out the back. Perfect every time. Here's your little cute little purse that holds your uh, diaper or poop bags for your dogs. So I'm going to show you over at the cutting table how we assemble it, put it together, and we put this little hack in here and where to put it and how. Meet you at the cutting table. Okay, here's what we're going to need um, to do the doggy bag for this little purse set. So um, I've gone to Harbor Freight and I've purchased this little kit here. And this is for the Hapitch Grommet installation kit. And it comes with the tools and it comes with, um, let me see how many, 25, 140, 104 pieces. So be 52 um, grommets, I guess. So they're, they're aluminum, they're lightweight, so they're not going to be real heavy on your bag. So we get the pieces out. I already got the, the grommets out. There's a punch to make the hole. There's a piece that you would lay underneath it to make your hole punch so you don't ruin your table, but I use a little board. And then there's the setter and the setter tool. All right, so there's the tool. These are the tools to, to make the grommet hole for our doggy bags. I also am gonna put the purse together afterwards. So I've got my D-ring uh, lobster claw hook for the handle part. And I'm gonna put a little bling on mine so on my handle parts, I'm going to put the little jewels I decided. I'm going to put the little little rivets with the little diamonds. I thought I'd do that. And then on the sides, I have my larger rivets. I like the big rivets on the sides. These are, I think, 10, 10 millimeter by 8, maybe. Uh, these look like maybe 20 millimeter heads but the um, well, they could be 20 by 20s so these are larger I like to use the larger ones because we're going to be going through um, six layers three layers of vinyl and three layers of felt when we do this so we have it and I have it ready and cut out I mean it normally sews and stitches out like this you can do it this before you actually cut them out if you want to do all the the punching and adding to it it's up to you I cut out first and I have all my little holes, so all the little holes I use a leather punch that cuts out my holes. And I'm using it at one eighth of the holes for um, my rivets on the sides. So we'll punch those holes first and get that part done. And got the top part for the bag. And you want to make sure your holes aren't too big. Uh, you don't want them too big because um, the rivets, depending on the size that you use, can come right through it or tear right through it. So the only ones I'm not going to use the rivet uh, or the leather punch is going to be where I'm going to put my cam snap. So that one I'm going to end up using the awl instead to poke the holes for that when we get to the cam snap part. So I've done my holes for my small rivets. And those are ready to go. And I've also um, have my hammer, and I also have a ruler. The reason why I grab the ruler, what happened to my um, my pen? Alrighty, and I've got a pen for marking. So I I have my little slide ruler. These are really great because they they are perfect for so many different things and measuring. And then you keep your little measurement here if you need to before you do something else. So um, you're actually going to be the way this is set up. Um, I'll show that in a second. So we're going to measure our from stitch to stitch, and this is if you do the bottom. And then if you're going to do the back side, which is where when your purse is made, you can pull the bag out of the back. That is, that's going to be 
this part here. Here's the flap. This is where you're going to punch your hole if you want the bag to come out of the back. This is where you'll punch your hole if you want the bag to come out of the bottom. So I want mine to come out of the back this time. So I've measured from the stitch line to the stitch line and it's four and a half. So half of that is two inches and three eighths. So it's two and three eighths of an inch. So I already had this marked at um, two and three eighths. So I'm gonna be just about like the halfway line through there. And then I'm gonna take my pen and make a little dot. So that's where I know that's about where the center is. And then if I have, I'm going to do it out of the bottom, from what I've measured from side to side, the bottom, this is five inches from stitch line to stitch line, so that's two and a half inches is where you're going to make that hole, and you're right in the center. So you're going to kind of eyeball, you're eyeballing the center, and it's usually like where the, um, where the other lines are, that's kind of the center, right there. So. I'm going to place this little plastic piece underneath and I'm going to line up, this is the hole punch part, I'm going to hold, kind, of, kind of line that up, I can kind of see down the little, down the center of it a little bit and I'm pretty much kind of in the center there. So and I'm going to hammer just to make sure I, it goes all the way through. It has not, it has not gone through the vinyl so I'm going to get rid of this plastic piece and I like the wood because the wood has a little bit extra extra cushion to go through so I know it's going to, it still doesn't want to go. Well, let's kind of see it and guide it. This little punch, is, it's meant for leather but not, and you know what, it's crazy because actually I uh, canvas I think can go through this. It's supposed to. Maybe I'm not hammering hard enough. I just don't want to make a whole lot of noise so. Well, there's that. This piece I will get cut out. I'm going to do it with my scissors just to get it done. You're not going to see the, the full cut line anyways. It'll be covered up by a rivet. And you can, I mean, if you don't have a, the hole punch either, but you do have your rivets, you can just kind of do a half inch hole. There's my hole. All right, so I have my hole ready for my, my grommet. And I want the nice size, nice side of the, of the grommet on the outside. So I'm going to push that in first. And then uh, after I get that pushed in first, then I've got the ring, which is going to go on the back side. All right. So the ring is going to go here, and that kind of keeps it nice. Then we have our bottom piece, which is, has the divot, and that's where that the nice side of the uh, uh, grommet, <laughs> the right side of the grommet goes in there. And then we have our tool here, which is our setting tool. That's gonna go right on top, and then we're gonna hammer. And then as we hammer this down, we wanna make sure it's kinda even as we're hammering. There we go, that's how even that was. And it just kind of folds that all in, and our grommet is set perfectly. Don't want to hammer too hard, I guess. Some vinyls are different, and it may punch through the vinyls. But there we go. Little nice curved ring, the outside. And yeah, I guess you can use either side, um, whichever way you want to use it. I mean, this is the nice side. This one came out nice, too. And then the bag's going to slide through that little hole, which works, I think, would be working great. All right. So let's do the rest of our um, bag. Now that we have the hole for our little poop bags or diaper bags, you know, little bags for anything we need for trash. So I'm going to start with the sides. Or actually, I'm going to do the handle first. So let's do the handle first. And I happen to use the little jewel ones for the handle. So. I happen to have some of the, the clear clear jewel. Hopefully these ones will work. And I'm going to put one on each side. And I'm making sure that I've added my D-ring lobster claw in there first. Oops, I forgot to punch the hole. There we go. Okay. There we go. 
So you're going to put the jewel part or the nice part on top and then put the little snap cap on the back side. They're ready to go. So, and because it's a jewel, I'm going to protect it with something. So I'm going to protect it with a little piece of felt on it. I'm going to put it in the, the, uh, the divot portion, and then I've got the all for the top. Hopefully this one works as well. Or I mean, they're not all, but the post setter. And hopefully these aren't too long and they, they work well. That did work well. It actually made it stay. There we go. I'm going to turn it a little bit. There we go. I wasn't sure if that one was going to work because of the length of it. But it worked good. There we go. And we got one more to go. Set it. In our punch. Make sure it's seated in there. There we go. Take the setter. That one went crooked. I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, that one kind of went crooked. So let's see if I can reset that. Probably can't. Nope, not able to reset that one. So I'll have to yank that one out. But I mean, it's there, but there, you know, it's coming out because it was crooked. If the posts are too long, a lot of times they don't set properly and they don't come out. So sometimes I can get the hammer to do it, but no. Alrighty, I will figure that one out. There we go. I messed up on the handle, but we're here for the <laughs> for the poop bag part. All right, and now I'm going to add in which these longer ones I know will work because we're going through all these layers. So for the bag, our flap is the front part here. And then so as the flap comes up, where you're going to put that, this is our front. So this part, you're going to push your, the middle one up and the back one and the front one. So the front one goes first, then the back piece. And then you go through the middle piece. So front, back, and middle. Front, back, and middle. So if the bag is like this, this is the front part where you put your snap and it comes over. So front flap goes in, then the back flap, and then the center flap is inside. And then we're going to put our snap on it, or I mean our cap. And this is, this is working good with this rivet because there's so many layers here. So with that many layers, this was a good size rivet. So I'm going to put it in my, set it in there. I do have a, a foot press, which I usually use for these. I'm going to be doing so many of them. I uh, actually, uh, there we go. We'll be using that one. I'm not a fan of this one because this happens to be smaller than the rivet I'm actually using. So it's probably going to smash it down. Yeah, it actually, see what happened? It smashed the rivet. This, at least this is inside. You can see how it smashed it because this divot in here is actually smaller than that one. So I should have used a bigger one. I think I do have it in one of my other kits I could use. But the, back, the outside one was, did fine because I used the larger, the larger hole on here, so it's set in the larger hole. So we'll do it again. It goes, put our flap in, the middle flap goes in. And I lost my little rivet. Oh, here it is. So the middle flap folds in. Front one goes first. Then the back one and then the one in the middle pops up for it. There we go. And it snaps on. All right, so that's that.
Let me see if I have the other setter. This one has a little bit larger setter, so this might work better. This is a little bit larger. This was for the uh, the caps on my uh, magnetic snaps. So let's try this one. Okay, I'm going to set it in there, and it's oh, making sure that it's seated. I'm using the larger uh, punch. Yeah, I can tell that it's set better. There we go. Set a lot better. Okay, so there's that. And I cannot get this one out. I'll have to rip this one out. There we go. So instead of a jewel one, I'm going to use, if I have it, I don't even think I have one. I don't have the smaller ones. Head up here. That's another jewel one. I thought I used the short ones too, but let's find a short one. I think I have the short ones. I know I do. I, know I, do. I just used them on another project. Here we go. So these are the shorter ones. These should work. So these are just the smaller ones. So hopefully, I mean, sometimes, like I said, if the hole's too big, then it th pulls through, but I hope it doesn't. So we'll use the small little jewel, small little cap. There we go. And I'm going to set this one. This one I know I, I only need a small one for this one, but I'm still going to use my felt. I'm going to make sure that it's kind of set in the divot. There we go. Set that. Kind of learn from my mistakes. There we go. Worked perfect. So that one worked good. The larger one, we had a little tough time, but this one kind of set for me. But so there's the top. Then we're going to get our snap, our cam snap, and uh, we'll snap that down. And then this is how we set that grommet there for our poop bags. And you will take your bag and push it through the hole. I have it roll from the bottom out, and then the cam snap's going to come and snap down. And that is how you put the grommet in for the hack on my Bad Bobbins mini purse. And this is the small one. This is the one in the 5x7 hoop. So this is the small, small one, and 5x7 hoop holds a perfect bag as long as you do the uh, center one in first and your sides over top of that, bag out the back. You can also do the little, the grommet out the bottom if you want. And this is perfect. So once it's snapped, it, it is perfect. It stays, you can roll the bags out. You know, once it's closed, it does pull out. There you go. How to do and make, make the hack of the mini purse from Bad Bobbin and how to put in the half inch grommet. And like I said, this grommet I got from Harbor Freight, this whole set. And I don't think it was, I don't think it was more than, couldn't have been more than $15. I honestly don't remember. I got it so long ago and finally using it. So there we go. That's how we do it. That's how you do the little hack for the poop bag, either a diaper poop bag or a doggy poop bag, mini purse from Bad Bobbin. Hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't, please, and ring the bell for more great videos to come. And um, comments down below if you want to see anything else. Let me know down below for more information or comments or some other videos you want to see me do. Please, please, I do anything for you, any content. Um, I'm even thinking of showing you how to do ribbon roses. So if that's a thumbs up, yes, let me know. So enjoy your day and thank you for being here. See you at the cutting table.